let's read through these notes together. So we're using matrices to solve system of linear equations. So matrices can be used to display simultaneous equations. For the equations, this, so as you can see, we've got ax plus by is equal to m, and then cx plus dy is equal to n. We can take these simultaneous equations and write them uh, in matrices. So let's have a look at what's happening here. So what we're doing is we're taking this, 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 and this. So all the coefficients of x and y, and we're putting them in a matrix and see how it's preserving the order a, b, c, d, a, b, c, d. And then what you're going to do is you're going to say, all right, I've got x, x, y, y. So that's going to become x and y there. And then you've got your answers. So we've got m and n, m and n there. And that's how you take simultaneous equations and write them as uh, matrices. So let's read this final sentence here. It says, we need to be able to put equations into matrix form and take the matrix form and write as equations. So in other words, you need to be able to go back and forth uh, from here to here or from there to here. You need to be able to go back and forth between these and understand how it works. To get a better understanding of how exactly this works, we're now going to work through these examples here.